There is a major reward on the table right now aimed at saving animals from being used in dog fighting in Syracuse. Animal rescue groups are now hoping to spread the word on this, and CBS 5's Laura Hand tells us more. The signs are up on Syracuse's south side. Police have tipped dog rescue groups to dog fighting activities here. The hope is the big reward for an arrest and conviction will bring in tips. Money does talk, uh, literally, so we do want people to know that if that's a motivation, um, so be it. The proof that there's fighting is in rescued dogs. And then we see them come into the local uh, city shelter, which is the Dewey Animal Hospital, with uh, maybe signs and symptoms that they could have been fought. When you say dog fighting, you probably think pit bulls, but other breeds can be victimized too. I want you to meet Sophie. Um, she looks fine now. She's a great dog. We found her abandoned, and she had the chain marks mm -hmm. under her chin. She'd been used as bait for fighting dogs. She had some wear marks on her and a collar that was kind of embedded into her neck. So clearly she was involved in some kind of dog abuse, whether she was bait or they tried to make her fight. Sophie was found on Onondaga Hill and while the city's south side is being targeted now, the dog advocates know that people involved can come from anywhere. Historically, dog fighters have come in the form of attorneys, doctors, uh, people working in a grocery store. It, 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 there is no uh, typical dog fighter, if you will, because there can be big money in this. So now they're hoping some big money will also get someone to tell and get at least some of the dog fighting out of this community. In Syracuse, Laura Hamm reporting.